What's going on guys, a bit of a reminder. So this is my toner, 77 HP Tracer, it's, it's old. I use this on many jobs and all the type of work that I used to do. Um, it basically tones out everything to find out where the wires are. So check this out. So you put this on, it's pretty loud, but here. Let you know roughly where the cable is. We're gonna go in the attic because this is another Cat 5e cable that was ran in a home. See, my home, they only ran two of them. Basically, one in the bedroom and then one in the kitchen. Like, people have house phones now or something. I don't know, but that's just the way it is. So, we're going to use that, this Cat 5e cable that I'm tracing upstairs to my bedroom, try to get it out of the attic, and then drop it down into the office where all the other cables are, and then we'll just put a switch on We'll just put a switch on that so it's direct and we'll use this switch right here okay guys so i found the wire we're in the attic right now i have to trace it back all the way over there that's the other line that i originally did we're gonna have to get this filled up too back into uh spraying this attic but the master bedroom is all the way on the other side over there i have to trace this line all the way over here but as you can see, <clears throat> hold on one second. It's kind of stuffing it here. So that's the line. Okay, so now we gotta do this other part here. So I was over there, basically as you can see, on that side where I'm pointing at. Now I'm on the other side of the house here. There's hardly any room in here, but I found the cable. So here's the Cat 5e right here. We're on the other side. So now, geez. It's kind of hard to breathe in here, but let's show you like the room. There's like no room in here, but we have to get all the way on the other side over there. Got to trace this line back now. This Cat 5e cable is definitely going all the way over there, back over there. So I need to drop the line in the office on the, all the way on the other side over there. Let's try to get this cable. Man, I can't breathe, man. This stuff is just... But let's see what we can do. All right, guys. So basically, I have the Cat's 5e right here. It's going to be dropped down here, as you can see. I currently have a 6 and a 5e originally from the house. That's where it's going down into the office. We're going to put this. We just made it. So you can see it's not pretty, but we got to go all the way from there all the way on the other side basically um you can't really see it but you know we got it done so let's uh start doing some terminations and getting it down so i have the six port uh wall plate in the office right here and we have one more port that i can utilize i was able to drop it down the wall from upstairs in the attic here's the other cable right here so it's uh ready to go let me terminate this and uh, let me explain like my, my terminations as well. Um, we're gonna be using this uh, this tool here. It's basically a punch down. And you can see the other one, it's, it's in there right now. I'm gonna pop that out. But as you can see right here, it gives you the wiring colors. I'm using B. So you have A and then you have B. So I use B for everything. So whatever you're gonna do when you do your terminations for your Cat 5 or E or Cat 6 or Cat 7, whatever you have situated, make sure the terminations are the same. That's key. So if you're doing A, stick with A from start to finish. If you're doing B, stick with B from start to finish. Let me do this one here and then I'll show you downstairs what we're gonna do in the garage to make, make the switch work. Okay, now that all the terminations are done upstairs, now we're going to finish up the terminations down here. We're going to use this here as a punch down. It's not going to look too, too good for right now because I'm not going to make another hole in my wall for a panel, but you know, I, I want to be able to have access to plugging it in and out and uh, putting it to a switch. So what I'm going to do is I want to show you guys actually how I use this and how I punch this down. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. So we'll take this little trick that basically it just takes the wires out really quick. Here you go, look, check that out. So we're just using that to straighten it out instead of just with your fingers. It helps out a lot, you know, in my opinion. I use B. So you just follow everything that says 
you know, on the B side. So the left side, we'll just do um, brown, brown with a stripe, and then basically uh, blue stripe and then blue. And then up top, you'll have orange, orange stripe, and then green stripe, and then green. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So let's put this together. Okay, so this is the color codes right here. So now I'm gonna use the punch down and I'll show you how that works. Like so. And then just clip it. That's it. Do it one more time, just in case, right? That's it. So it's done. The little cap. Now we have a terminated RJ45. This is gonna be the main here. Already have it situated. There, that's gonna be the main. And let me show you. So here's the switch right here. So I have the switch, I just ran over there. That's gonna be the main. So I'm gonna terminate th these ends here, hook it up to the switch and we should be go good to go. This is almost done. I just need to do the CPU and put the cooler on there. We have the cables ready to go. So we're gonna have a whole video on this, on the Vast AI setup. All that work was for this, this machine right here. So we have two Zotac 3060s um, and we have 64 gigs of RAM. So that should work out pretty well. So that's about it really. Hopefully we can uh, get Vast AI up and running and uh, see you on the next video, guys. Talk to you later.